video is closed captioned in English and Spanish subtitles. Cancun is recognized throughout the world for its spectacular white sand beaches and its fascinating sea in turquoise blue tones. With unique natural places, mind culture, water activities, and adventures, you just can't get enough of it. Spectacular international cuisine, spectacular golf courses, sophisticated spa facilities, top-class shopping centers, typical local handcraft markets. In this video, we discuss the top 10 Cancun scams to avoid when visiting Cancun. Let's start. Number one, airport car rental scams. This is a very popular one. It works with stressed out people who are not used to traveling. You arrive to Cancun, walk towards your online booked car to a well-known rental company. Once you get there, you find out you have no Wi-Fi or internet and you cannot pull up your reservation. You may have the reservation in your email from Orbitz or any other online rental car vendor. The front desk person allegedly can't find your reservation under your name, but he could rent you one rental car for several hundred dollars more than your original reservation price. Most get fed up and leave the counter, Then most of them are approached by someone dressed somewhat officially in a nice shirt and some kind of dodgy badge offering to help you, and he will claim that he knows the general manager of your car rental company. Call someone up and pass the phone to you. The person on the other end will claim that he is the general manager in the head office and that he found your reservation, but the car is not available. He will tell you to take a taxi to your hotel, get a receipt, and that he would have your rental car delivered the next morning straight to your hotel. And he will ask you to get a receipt from the taxi driver, and he would reimburse up to $150 for the ride because he could not provide the rental car. Don't fall for this scam. Nobody will arrive the next morning to deliver anything. They will split your taxi fare between the scammers and the taxi driver. Other rental car scams include forcing you to buy additional insurance coverage, which you already have, using your credit card for so-called online booking, insurance you don't need at all, or adding hidden charges without you realizing it, finding you for damages not caused by you, like small scratches or small dings, chipped windshield, or rental agent swapping your tire for a flat one, or swapping any other item in your rental car and charging you for it. Avoid all that by inspecting the vehicle thoroughly and taking photos and videos before you sign your rental agreement. Number two, the Mayan dollar currency scam. When you take a tour to any ancient ruins around Mexico, like Tulum, Chichen Itza, etc., and you're buying a souvenir there, you might hear a price quoted in Mayan dollars, which is a scam since the Mayan civilization didn't have a formal currency and mostly traded through bartering with others, and they will claim that one Mayan dollar is worth three U.S. dollars. Avoid this scam. It's overpaying for cheap souvenirs. Just look for another vendor who is not eager to scam you or ask for the prices that are mostly likely inflated. Number three, ATM scam. Cancun has two types of ATM machines, ones that are owned by a Mexican bank, others that are owned by a private entity or individual ATM machines, ones that are mostly standing at tourist spots in the hotel zone, such as flea markets, shopping malls, outside restaurants or bars, ATMs at discos. Stay away from the ones who are not owned by a bank in Mexico or the ones offering you to give you dollars instead of Mexican pesos. If you do choose these ATMs, you are at a high risk of being scammed. Your card could be cloned and your account could be cleaned out before you ever have the chance to catch up on the scam. Stay away from any mention of high commissions, the bad exchange rate issues you can experience after using one of those rogue ATMs. Only use Mexican bank ATM machines inside a bank and nowhere else. Number four, water sports rental equipment scam. So you finally arrived at your beachfront hotel in Cancun and go to the beach and see all those informal vendors offering you to rent a jet ski or any other water sport activity. And you think, yeah, why not? Let's have a ride and a few fast spins on this dream beach. So you pay one of these guys without any formalities. You're on your jet ski speeding the turquoise blue waters of Cancun. However, upon returning the jet ski, the vendor blames you for supposedly damaging it and scratching it or any other bogus claim and threatens to call the police, which can result in jail time if you don't come up with the money to pay for the damages. He claims you did this on his jet ski. 
If you plan to rent a jet ski, always do your research and go with a reputable operator like the ones at your hotel. Make sure you also inspect and photograph and take videos of the jet ski before taking off to document the existing damage it might already have. Number five, shopping scams in Cancun. Cancun has many popular local markets in the hotel zone in downtown. However, you have to be very careful not to be scammed. Many shop owners are just waiting for the tourists. They will try to sell you overpriced souvenirs. Here are some of the most common practices to watch out for. After you pay for your souvenirs, some vendors will swap it out to a lower quality souvenir or add a fake item while putting it in the bag to hand it to you, mostly wrapped in newspaper so you cannot see it. Selling fake items is common in those markets, so watch out. Same applies to tequila. They give you a great brand to taste, but sell you an overpriced, lower quality, cheap brand. Not labeling prices opens the door to the scam. Using ripoff exchange rates is another one used in those markets. Cigars from Cuba are mostly fake too, especially if you buy them from beach vendors. Then they are 100% fake. Number six, restaurant and bar scams. Cancun has a wide range of local and international restaurants. Here are some tips on how to avoid getting scammed as a tourist in those high-frequent tourist spots and chain restaurants. Watch out for getting a different menu with more expensive prices and dollars instead of the usual local menu with peso prices. Other practices include added unordered items to the bill, serving you unordered dishes, rigged calculators, hidden fees added to the bill, bad exchange rates for your dollars, including the tip inside the bill, which is illegal in Mexico. Always check your bill carefully before paying it also. If you use credit cards, let the waiter bring the terminal to your table. Don't give away your card to be charged in the back of the kitchen. Never leave your card out of your eyes or hands. Another tip is if there aren't locals in there eating, it's probably a place that targets tourists. I would stay away from these places. Bar scams operate similarly with inflated prices and cheap watered down alcohol. Watch out for the tequila shot girls. They can be very expensive for a few shots of bad tequila. Number seven, nightly adult entertainment scams. If you want some action and are thinking of going into the party zone of Cancun or even worse, Hiring some taxi driver to drive you to some massage parlors or strip clubs. Be very careful to stay away from prostitutes on the street and nightclubs. They will be very expensive for you. As a tourist, they will overcharge you five times. The taxi driver will get a commission from them. And worst case scenario, you will get robbed and scammed or even worse. Most of those establishments are controlled by the underworld. So do yourself a favor and stay away from it and stay within the tourist zone and have fun there without causing trouble. Number eight, police scams. Some Cancun officers target tourists and their rental cars who are clearly recognizable by the different plates the rental cars have. They will claim traffic violations such as speeding for tourists. The police can ask for anywhere from 20 US dollars to a few hundred dollars when you rent a car. You get a free ticket for one free traffic violation. When stopped by police, use that coupon instead of trying to bribe the officer. That could backfire as a tourist. Be always polite to the officers and admit if you did a mistake. If not, also say so. Try to record the event with your phone to be safe and have proof of anything that might occur. Watch out for accidents, even if an accident is the other party's fault. The tourist will most likely often be held liable for damages. My advice, call your rental company instantly. Number nine, rental property scam. If you don't stay at a hotel that's all-inclusive and you want to rent a private house on the beach on your own, the rule of thumb is never go to shady websites with too good to be true offers for a rental home. In Cancun, always rent from reputable vacation rental websites with user protections and insurance guarantees such as Flipkey, Airbnb, or HomeAway. Scammers will place an ad and ask the unsuspecting victim to wire money up front via Western Union or any other untraceable service to secure the vacation rental property. After you wired the money, guess what? They are gone. The fraudsters, along with your money, avoid this rental scam. Number 10, Cancun Airport Scam Warning. The most popular scam here at the airport is once exiting the airport building, you have people wave signs at you trying to sell you a taxi ride or their overpriced collective shuttle bus. They're pretty good at lying and will tell you that your bus will be leaving in two to three hours and that it will cost more than their ride, neither of which are true. They are saying this so that you'll take their $25 shuttle or the $60, $80 taxi ride. 
Another scam is taxi drivers trying to sell their services to take you between terminals one through four. They will tell you it is a one to two hour walk to get there or that you could wait an hour and a half for the free shuttle bus. Big lie. Shuttles run every 20 minutes for free between terminals. These scammers only want to charge you $40 per person, sometimes for a two minute ride from terminals two to terminal four. Don't fall for the scam. It is a 10 minute walk and clearly marked on maps. We hope you enjoyed this video. Which place would you like to visit from the list? Let us know in the comment section below the video. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you'll be the first to know when we publish a new video. Thanks for watching.